wild boar's adaptability allows them to survive in a variety of environments. Preferring to feed on seeds, plants, small insects, and even dead animals when their preferred foods are scarce, this food flexibility carries risks, as wild boars harbor a variety of bacteria and diseases that can potentially infect livestock. The landscape witnesses traces of destruction left by wild boars from the previous day. This will be an ideal place to set traps with an advanced camera system, sensors and remote control powered by solar energy. The latest advances in remote camera technology allow real-time monitoring of wild boar activity on a phone, tablet or computer using mobile data, helping to better understand pig behavior forest at the trap site and make smart decisions about when to activate the trap to support effective population management. Optimizing the number of pigs captured is important in every aspect of trap installation. Traps are usually made from stainless steel, ensuring durability and longevity. Popular grains include fermented corn, rice, sorghum or barley, acorns, overripe fruit and honey. Among the many methods to control the wild boar population, Trapping is the most effective, convenient, and cost-effective method. Thanks to advances in technology, traditional traps are quickly being replaced by more sophisticated models, thereby making traps the ultimate tool for effective population control. Recreational hunting of wild boars is a popular activity in the United States, often using hunting dogs as effective support tools to help them search and detect wild boars hiding in dense bushes. In fact, feral hogs are considered a valuable species in some states, not only as useful hunting subjects but also as a source of fun and meat. Recreational hunting can take many forms, such as traveling or hunting through baited areas, and similar to other forms of control. It has the potential to reduce wild boar populations in the wild. Specific areas of high density and increased human activity are relevant for control measures. Impact on wild boar behavior is an important aspect and recreational hunting has been observed to contribute to the dispersion of wild boar populations. Additionally, selective harvesting of only large males as game animals may prevent efforts to reduce population numbers. Removal of females and juveniles has a greater effect on reducing the production of the entire population. Therefore, selective harvesting that does not discriminate between sex and age categories proves to be a more effective means than selective culling of males.
Newborn piglets have light brown fur with black spots on the neck and shoulders, and weigh about 20 to 25 kilograms. They can stand and walk soon after birth and find their own food in about two weeks, although they initially live in their mother's herd. After reaching the age of two, they will separate to find companions and start their own families. Wild boars cause great damage to the environment by digging up vegetation, upsetting grass and soil, leading to destruction of tree root systems and thinning of forests, causing loss of biodiversity. The global wild boar population, estimated at 100 million, is growing, with 80% in Asia, 15% in Europe, and 5% in the Americas. Wild boars also negatively affect forests by digging for food and water, causing ecosystem destruction and hardship for other animals. Although many measures have been taken to control their population, their numbers continue to increase rapidly due to their ability to reproduce rapidly. The Mind Jager Pro Hardplate Wild Boar Trap is not only an effective tool for controlling the wild boar population, but is also a breakthrough with advanced technology. Using solar energy to provide convenience and high performance, unique design and easy assembly are the strengths of the trap. Food, such as fruit or vegetables, is placed inside the trap to attract wild boars. The trap uses solar energy through a panel located at the top to provide power for the trap's motor and signal lights. When wild boars approach, the motion sensor activates the trap door, trapping them quickly and effectively, proving the accuracy and quick response of the trap. In many situations, traps are placed in areas with high densities of wild boar, such as forests, fields, and savannas. This strategy maximizes the ability to capture and control the wild boar population in the most effective way. The Mind Jager Pro Hardplay Trap is not only popular in the United States, but is also widely used in many countries around the world, including Canada, Europe, and Asia. This widespread use is testament to its diversity and versatility in global applications. Each night, these traps can catch between 10 and 30 wild boars providing an effective and sustainable solution for population control. This not only brings immediate benefits, but also helps maintain ecological balance. Users can harvest two to four traps per day, allowing them to control between 730 and 1460 wild boars per year, a testament to the trap's versatility and wide application. The Board Buster system uses a unique design with a circular outer ring and inner shell to effectively trap feral hogs. Assembly details are described as follows. The first step is to build the inner ring by alternating nails and loose boards. The trap's compartments are tightly seated into slots on the inner ring disc. Next, the axle wheels are attached of which one is removable for disassembly and the outer ring is constructed by aligning the panels with the axle wheels and fixing the connection.
Finally, the trigger components, including a lever, lever bar, winch foot, and electronic lock are installed. According to a study by Texas A&M University, the board buster system is 80% more effective than some other traps. It is capable of capturing wild boars of all sizes, from piglets to adult pigs. Canadian farmers have taken preventative measures by installing cameras in areas showing signs of feral boar damage. These cameras are used to monitor areas where wild pigs have infested, attracting a variety of wildlife and invasive animals. The observation lasted throughout the day to better understand the situation. In the evening, when wild boars become active again, they venture into small lagoons in search of food, especially worms, as part of their natural hunting activities. After determining the number of wild boar herds and understanding their activity patterns, farmers prepare traps to catch them. This process requires skill and experience because of the wild boar's sensitivity and alertness to potential threats. Although predation can reduce the growth of the wild boar population, the challenge that arises as they often escape from the trap becomes a significant challenge. The trapped pigs, weighing about 250 to 300 pounds, are drawn into the trap with the grain they like to eat. However, they may become scared and try to break the trap door to escape. Encountering wild boars requires caution, as they can attack if approached. Despite attempts to catch their prey, more often than not they escape and seek shelter in jungles and mountains, where they feel safe and are difficult to catch by direct pursuit. Over time, wild boars' senses become sharp and alert due to prolonged hunting, making them very sensitive to environmental signals. Every rustle of leaves, change in wind, 
or even distant noise can trigger them to become ready to flee, posing a challenge to those trying to control their populations. When there is a potential danger, a wild boar will let out a cry to signal the entire herd. And in just a moment, they can quickly flee in any direction, including swimming through the stream. Professional hunting of wild boars in mountain areas is becoming difficult, especially when they are familiar with their surroundings and know how to take advantage of the natural environment to avoid pursuit. This makes for an exciting and challenging adventure for hunters requiring patience and skill to face wild animals in the wild. In addition to wild boar, the area also has a large population of deer. Two farmers went up to the observation point to wait for the wild boar. The pig herd is very large, and counting the number of piglets in the herd becomes difficult. Hunting wild boar is an adventurous and challenging task, requiring skill, patience, and an understanding of their behavior. Hunters often have to approach silently using techniques such as tracks and scent to locate pigs. The hunt becomes a thrilling race between humans and wild boars requiring agility and the ability to use traditional or modern weapons to kill the target quickly and effectively. While wild boar hunting offers an immersive experience in nature, there is also an emphasis on compliance with environmental and wildlife protection laws and regulations to ensure the sustainability of this activity. In a unique method to control the wild boar population, a GPS-equipped tiger is released into the forest, allowing it to attack and eat wild boar. Tigers are prized for their ability to attack quickly and accurately. Canada uses black bears to deal with the feral boar problem, as they have greater power and have proven effective in reducing the feral boar population by 2%. Similarly, 
Brown bears were also successful in capturing a young wild boar during an evening chase. Regarding treatment methods to prevent the increase of the wild boar population, these are questions that many people are interested in. Deer, being delicate wild creatures, are increasingly becoming a significant challenge in the United States, especially in agricultural and urban areas. Farmers and hunters are facing formidable challenges in addressing this growing problem. Facing economic losses and public safety issues caused by deer strikes on crops. The problem of deer invasion not only affects the economy and public security, but also poses many multidimensional problems that need attention. First, this organism can cause extensive damage to crops, livestock, and property, creating significant economic hardship for farmers and landowners. The total value of these losses has reached an alarming $1.5 billion by 2022, highlighting the need for measures to address the problem beyond just the economic aspect. Furthermore, deer encroachment also threatens public safety, especially on roads. Deer-related traffic accidents contribute to approximately 200,000 each year, not only as a safety issue, but also as a threat to society. Hunting is considered a practical and effective solution for controlling the deer population. During the 2020 hunting season, more than 6.3 million white-tailed deer were harvested in the United States, clearly demonstrating the effectiveness of this management strategy. Although hunting can provide many benefits, such as creating income opportunities and contributing to the economy, there are also challenges and concerns. Issues such as environmental pollution, biodiversity loss and public safety need to be managed responsibly and with practice to ensure that hunting remains a sound management tool. Collaboration between game farmers and wildlife management professionals is a key factor in addressing deer encroachment. Together, they can use new technology, such as animal tracking technology, to improve the effectiveness of deer control measures and minimize negative impacts on the environment and social communities. In this way, the combination of traditional hunting strategies and new technological advances can create a comprehensive and sustainable approach to solving the increasingly serious invasive deer problem in the United States. However, this does not mean that there are no challenges and concerns. One of the important aspects is the impact on the natural environment. A decrease in deer numbers can significantly affect the ecological balance. 
negatively affecting many other plant and animal species in the ecosystem. Conservation concerns are also a point of concern. Overhunting can put deer species in danger, posing a major challenge to biodiversity conservation. Performance controls need to be established to ensure that hunting does not have negative consequences for biodiversity. Impact on local communities is also an important aspect. Although deer hunting can bring income to some communities, it can also cause controversy with environmental conservation advocates. Information management and public education about the benefits and drawbacks of hunting are important. While deer hunting can be a useful means of population management, it is important to do it in a considered and sustainable manner. Performance control, environmental monitoring, and creating understanding within the community are decisive factors in ensuring that deer management meets both economic and environmental conservation needs. One humane approach that is receiving attention is the use of live traps to safely move deer. To minimize pain and stress to them during management and research, this includes using tracking devices, fitted to deer and integrating GPS technology to track and record information about their behavior and activities. Animal tracking technology, such as GPS and other sensors, helps researchers accurately collect detailed data about aspects of deer life and biology. This information may include distance traveled, eating habits, living environment, and interactions with the surrounding environment. The use of live traps and tracking technology not only benefits research and conservation, but also helps reduce pressure and stress on deer as they are moved without causing pain or anxiety lost. This will not only improve the deer's quality of life, but will also promote progress in understanding the animal's behavior and biology. Deer cannot survive near valuable or planned tree plantings that people are developing. To protect crops, people often build a variety of fences, including wooden fences, rope fences or other systems. This is to prevent deer from accessing and harming crops, protecting agriculture, and ensuring the sustainability of the ecosystem. Building a fence to prevent deer intrusion requires care to ensure its effectiveness and durability. It is important to determine the area that needs to be protected and planned specifically for the type of fence and its location. Construction material selection needs to be done carefully in accordance with the specific environment and budget. If deer 
are capable of jumping high. The fence needs to be high enough to stop them. At the same time for its effectiveness, the fence needs to be periodically inspected and maintained to ensure it functions properly and is not damaged. This not only protects the farm or garden from deer destruction, but also keeps the ecological environment in that area maintained in balance. Fences not only prevent deer access to plants and trees, but also help protect the environment. Maintaining balance between humans and nature is important, helping us and deer coexist without hurting each other. In short, deer population management requires an integrated strategy. Combining traditional means, such as hunting and more advanced methods, such as the use of live traps and tracking technology. Close cooperation between farmers, hunters, and wildlife managers, along with community awareness, will play a decisive role in finding sustainable and safe solutions to this growing problem. This becomes serious. Wild War and Deer Race is a musical picture that deals with the power and speed of confrontation in the wild. This could mean competition between species and the important role of strength and speed in determining survival. I understand that current solutions are affecting our ability to prevent the spread of some invasive species, and this may make it necessary to review those solutions. There can be different means to manage and protect the environment without affecting the natural development of populations. If you have any other opinion or solution that you believe is better, please share your opinion below so we can further discuss different ways to protect and maintain balance in the environment nature. Don't forget to support our channel by subscribing liking, and sharing this video to spread the message to everyone around you.